Hi guys, Rachel here, rachelthestamper.com, and I wanted to show you how to make this really simple winter card um, today. I actually put this on my blog last week, and someone asked me how to make the tree so they looked a little wintry, so I thought I'd just go through you uh, through this card with you quickly. It was relatively simple to make. You could absolutely make it into a Christmas card. You could keep it as a winter card. You could decorate the inside a little bit more if you'd like. But we're going to show you how to make the uh, outside today. It was very simple. And I did a lot of the pre-cutting ahead of time. And I'll show you what I did for the little stars at the top. So basically we have a base of Knight of Navy 4 and a quarter by 11 scored at 5 and a half. We have a piece of... Uh, this is Smoky Slate or Basic Gray. I think it's Basic Gray, four by five and a quarter. We have a piece of Whisper White, same thing, four by five and a quarter. This will be to layer underneath. So I might have to trim that up just a smidge. The layer underneath so the white shows through. Um, you could also run this through twice if you wanted to fill in the moon, or you could probably take your um, crushed curry and fill it in with the moon just like that. And very simple so let me show you what to do what I did is I went ahead and trimmed out or I should say die cut some of the trees and this is a new um, stamp set and die set that's available currently now for you guys it's called card front builder thinlets dies and um, just I'm going to take a moment to show you there are a lot of things that you can do with this you can make a card base so you would lay this down this could be like the top of your card here and then you could lay these little um, poinsettias down here at the bottom so it basically creates a, a card base for you and you could use them in any manner that you wanted so you could put those at the bottom you could just use like one at the top and one at the bottom if you wanted to make it a little bit more um, I don't want to say creative, but like a country style would be really pretty. It has some holly, some ornaments, and then it does have a stamp set that coordinates with it. And hang on one sec. Let me just put these here so I don't lose them. And it's actually called the Carols of Christmas stamp set. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't have this closer, but this coordinates. So you have the little deer. You could stamp and then you could die cut that. The ornaments. The holly leaves, the regular leaves, there's a, I don't think there's a die for, oh, the point set actually fits in these. So that right there, you could stamp that and cut that out if you wanted to. So there's a lot of different things that you could do with this. I'm just starting to use it now. I am still waiting for the rest of my pre-order to come, but it's pretty. It's very pretty. And then you have the little night sky. So I thought that was a beautiful card and this would make a great card. That was relatively simple. So what we're going to start out with doing... And so I'm going to show you what I did for the trees, and I actually have a Craft White ink pad. Now, I know they don't sell this any longer through Stampin' Up!, but they do sell the uninked spot, and then you get the um, Craft White ink, and you can ink it yourself. The reason they're doing that, I think a lot of them were exploding all over the place and making a huge mess in people's boxes, so that was kind of their solution to not ruin the rest of the crafting supplies. But you could either take a sponge, or you could just take your tree tips. What I did is I just kind of rubbed them in just to give that like fallen snow look to it. And then I did it kind of the same way on both sides of the card, just like that. And each one's gonna look different. I mean, you could take some of them and just kind of give them a press in. Uh, only thing with this, you do wanna make sure it is going to take a little bit longer to dry. So you're gonna need to, to incorporate a little dry time in for making these. But basically I just went in and kind of tipped the edges as you can see there. You could cut these two in half if you wanted to. I didn't. I just kind of bent them slightly in the middle so I could get both sides. And it still worked out really well. It gives that fallen snow type of look to them. And you could also drag it if you wanted a little bit more of a wispy snow look. And then kind of press it in the middle. So there you have that. So it looks like the snow is actually accumulated onto the branches. So again, if you're going to do that, you'll just kind of drag it along. Same with this middle one, just drag it, and then you can kind of pop on there to get your snow look. The other thing um, I did with these, after this dried a little bit, is I went in and added some Wink of Stella. So it kind of have like that sparkle, and as you see, if you do this while it's still wet, you can smear your white around a little bit, so you can kind of spread it out a little more. But it kind of gave that sheen that fresh fallen snow has when it's got that little crystal or even when it sets overnight and it, it the temperature drops and it kind of gets that little crystallized look. 
So I didn't do this the first time when it was wet. I think I let them dry. And this is pretty neat because it's definitely spreading the ink out a little bit, which is making for a really pretty effect. And then if you wanted to, you could go ahead back with your, um, your ink pad or your sponge dauber or your sponge, and you could kind of put a little bit of a snow accumulated at the bottom there. So you could take your sponge dip it in and you don't need a lot on these sponges to last for a while and kind of just put your snow so it looks like there's some snow at the base of your tree but you get the idea so there they are with the uh, wink of Stella on them very pretty and I'm gonna move this white out of the way so I don't ruin anything and I'm gonna show you how to make the rest of the card so I'm gonna just set these down here a little bit just to dry and I'm gonna get out the starry night sky which is very pretty and we're going to work with our uh, smoky slate piece. I think it's basic gray. I'm pretty sure it's basic gray. It's a little too dark to be smoky slate. So what I did was I just put this through the big shot somewhere near the top, kind of where I wanted it. I did give it a little bit of a, uh, a ledge there so it wasn't quite at the top. So I'm going to move this one up closer to the top. And then I just centered it. You could, if you're concerned with the die moving put a little piece of washi or a uh, sticky note and then just crank this through the big shot okay and see all your pieces fall out really easily um you have like maybe you could use this little thing if you're being lazy just poke the ends out there but that was really very simple so you have your little card design there. And again, you could use your other labels if you wanted to add something at the bottom, um, whatever it is that you want to do. And then this is going to go in here. What I did with this is I actually um, popped it up one dimensional so it would make it have a little bit of a shadow to it. Let me just trim this just a hair for some reason. It's just, sorry, I thought I had all these pre-cut, but apparently that little sliver made a difference. And what I'm going to do while I'm at it is I'm going to cut this down to about two and a half, two and a half inches because we don't really need the whole piece to be the background. We just need it on the top. That way we can use that for our um, snow on the bottom. So I'm going to just take a few dimensionals and I'm going to put this on the back in spots where you can't see. And then I'm going to take a couple of these side pieces and just fill in the top so it has enough um, of a pop at the top. That way your card doesn't kind of cave in. Just really a couple of them. You don't need that many, honestly. Uh, let see if I can fit one in over here. That was two. It was supposed to be cut in half. All right, and then I'm just gonna peel these off. Okay, is that all of them? Yeah. So I'm going to peel those off and then I'm going to just line this up with the top. Just like that. So now it gives you a little bit more depth to the card, as you can see. Instead of it being flat on the card, it has a little more depth of feeling to the card. And then what I'm going to do is just put a couple of these on the bottom just so when I lay the card onto the base, it lines up. But I'm going to go ahead and put these uh, trees onto the front first. So what you can kind of do is decide how you want your trees to be, if you want them staggered or spread out or whatever it may be. So I'll put the back ones on first, and I'm going to put these on just with snail adhesive. What did I do with it? There it is. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Snail adhesive. And then we'll put on some layers of snow just to continue again with that depth feeling. So what I did with the snow is you can actually just take a piece. So just make sure this measures well. You can take a piece. It doesn't have to be perfect and rip it just like that. And we can kind of trim this down how we want it. I have my soft sky ink pad here and I'm going to ink it up and just go over the torn piece just to give a little bit of color edge so you can tell the difference between them. And then you can also, again, go over this a little bit with the Wink of Stella so you get the little sparkle to the snow effect. So you can set this one here. This can go right here. And we'll put that down with a little bit of snail. 
and I will say I'm gonna cover up the bottom part of it because we're gonna layer enough trees and again it kind of matters depends on what you want to do we're gonna put enough trees that we're really not gonna see these overlap pieces so I'm gonna rip that right there and then that way what I'll do is with the next one I'll cover up my tree so you can kind of move it over here so you can see the snow in the background you could put a single one over here that will work out really well just like that put one here and it just depends you put as many trees on as you like just whatever makes you happy you can pop some of these up with dimensionals as well that'll also give you just a completely more deep feeling of the trees like you're actually in the forest and you can put the snow on all of them again kind of whatever you feel you want to do with it put these here and then we'll do one last thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this across I'm gonna go ahead and sponge this with the soft sky again and go over it with the wink of Stella you can fill these in however you like so you can go just like that and what we'll do is we'll trim this off on the bottom so it lines up exactly okay and we'll trim that in just one second I just want to go over this one last spot I wanted to fill in a little piece of snow and this one I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just trim it just slightly just so it's kind of a slight straight edge and I'll put this behind here just like that and then we'll trim that piece off as well so what we'll do is we will trim this and absolutely if you are more of a perfectionist you can certainly make these completely straight edges you can cut your edges whatever you like for your card that's what you want to do now since this is already slightly popped up because we have the dimensionals behind the first layer here this layer is just going to match it so we're going to just put snail on this and then this is going to have the dimensionals and put this together and we're all good oh, got a dimensional backing on there I'm just going to set that right there and you can always whatever it is you like if you don't you don't like the way it is just take it and adjust it over a little bit okay just like that so anyway that's just a different variation on it with the way the uh, slopes are you could also if you didn't want to do it this way another very simple way to do it would be you would rip your edge so you take your edge like this ripped that way you have full pieces because some people may not necessarily like the way this background is so then you would take your your uh, sponge sponge your edges and then you're going to just make sure these are cut so you could put some trees layer a piece put some trees layer a piece put some trees layer a piece and then you would just keep trimming the pieces down that way you would have a consistently white bottom but you would sponge every layer that way it would look like layers of snow so it would eliminate all this gray in the background because you would just have white 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 all in there Oh, that one doesn't want to go behind there, but I hope that makes sense. So if you don't like the way this card is with just the pieces, you could just cut your layers, put some trees, cut your layers, put some trees, and that will be another way to do it. That might be a little bit easier also with matching up your background. And then as always, what I did on the inside of this one is I put a second layer of smoky slate. So again, it would be four by five and a quarter. And then I did a piece of whisper white, which would be three and three quarters by five. And then I uh, layered those together, put the sentiment, the sentiment on, and this is actually from the Eastern beauty stamp set so this isn't a Christmassy life is beautiful just a nice winter card if you're reaching out to a friend or something like that but I want to thank you guys as always for uh, watching if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel you can find me at reachthestamper.com you can find me on pretty much all social media platforms at reach the stamper Facebook Instagram YouTube and my blog reachthestamper.com if you'd like to get any of these supplies and more, in my online store is open 24-7. You can shop in your jammies. You can shop late at night, drinking your coffee, whatever it is you like to do. Reach the stamper.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.